Hey, what's up guys? In this project, we're building the ancient blade saw from Zelda Breath of the Wild. So this is a fully 3D printed prop that has an actual moving chainsaw with tons of NeoPixel LEDs. It has lots of details, making this one of our most intricate builds. It's pretty massive, over 40 inches in length and has over 200 NeoPixels. The ancient blade saw is a pretty cool weapon that looks like a chainsaw. In the game, Link has it forged from the tech lab. It's a pretty fun weapon that can take down guardians by just swinging it around. So we wanted to make this blade saw look and feel like it was straight out of the game. We designed the blade saw in Fusion 360 using reference images from the game. All of the parts are printed individually and secured together with hardware. The main parts are 3D printed using an Ultimaker S5. Parts are dual extruded to make built-in light diffusion so details printed in translucent filament will illuminate. We use NinjaFlex to create a flexible sleeve for the handle. The design files are free to download and the source file is open for remixing. We used glitter infused filament to give the parts a bit of texture. You can get a full list of parts to build this project, links are in the description. Support material was used for creating the recessed panels. A palette knife can get in between the layers and flush cutters can break apart the supports. A tapping tool creates threads in the built-in standoffs for fastening hardware. Two halves of the blade are joined together using long machine screws. The Adafruit Cricut for the Circuit Playground Express is a fully loaded robotics platform that will drive all the components. The PCB is secured to the built-in standoffs near the center of the blade saw. A speaker can be press fitted into the holder. To power this project, a slide switch is wired to a AA battery pack. If you're new to wiring electronics, check out the learn guide for a full rundown. The assembly instructions are documented along with the code and circuit diagram. The slide switch fits into the little holder with the actuator on the outside. Battery packs can be mounted next to the PCB. The blade saw is lined with NeoPixel strips and wedged in between the standoffs. More strips are cut to size and wired to jumper cables for making quick connections. Screw block terminals make it easy to connect the NeoPixel strips to the Adafruit Cricut. Additional strips are wired and fitted inside the housing. These strips follow the contour of the various design elements. Single NeoPixels can be wired to the strips and used to fill specific areas. The Metal Gear DC motor is secured inside the blade and wired to jumper cables. A 3D printed gear gets attached to the shaft and engages the teeth of the chain. Panels are fitted inside to provide support for the chain while it's in motion. Buttons are wired up and used as triggers for turning on components and switching modes. These are inserted into the built-in holders on the inside. A panel mounted USB cable extends the connection for programming the boards. The chain is made up of linkages that are connected with rivets made from bits of filament. Ball bearings reduce friction and provide the teeth with a smooth surface. The chain is fitted over the ball bearings and the drive wheel press fits into the blade. The two halves are joined together and secured with machine screws. Various embellishments are glued to the outside. Parts of the handle are press fitted over the tang. A wooden dowel is inserted through the NinjaFlex sleeve. An LED and coin cell breakout are fitted inside the pommel to illuminate the details. Additional NinjaFlex sleeve fits over the handle and provides two-handed support. A button actuator is installed over the reset button for flashing new firmware. We used MakeCode to program the Adafruit Cricut. Code blocks made it easy to test LED animations and drive the motor. There's so many things the Adafruit Cricut can do, we could take this much further with servos and sensors like the accelerometer or even capacitive touch. Our learn guide is pretty detailed, so definitely check it out. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for new projects every week.